Okay, I just wanted to thank Warren25 Smash. I think that's who it was who brought this to my attention. Um, apparently there's some bill in the house or something. I don't know. Um, I'll provide a link for it. Well, it's a link on Warren25 Smash's page too. But they're talking about um, in reinstating the draft for people ages 18 to 42. I'm like, oh my god, that's totally insane. I am like so against the war anyway, but if they were to do that, I would be so pissed off. Um, it's not likely that I would be called to participate in this kind of service because of my mental illness and because I'm fat, <laughs> but um, I do have a brother and... I don't know if he would be qualified. He's only 35, so he's in the age range, and um, I don't know if they would consider him physically um, good enough for this um, crazy war. But um, yeah, I don't really believe in the draft. I think it's. I don't think people should be forced into it. If people want to join the military. Hey, that's, you know, that's your thing. You can join the military. But as far as, like, reinstating the draft, and of course, yeah, now they're going to allow women in or force women in, you know, whenever they don't have enough male bodies, they might as well put some female bodies in. So, um, so I guess I was looking at the, uh, thing through the Library of Congress is what it was talking about. Um, it would be called something like the, Civil Service Act of 2007 or something like that and um, basically you would be required to um, um, register for the draft and um, you'd either be required to um, work in the military or um, work in some sort of civil service capacity for a length of two years, but it could be extended to longer, and, um, yeah, that's just frightening, <laughs> um, and they would just, like, randomly pick people to go and fight, and, oh, God, this is, like, horrible, horrible news, I pray to God they don't, <laughs> don't pass that because I just don't believe that people should be forced to go over and fight an illegitimate illegitimate war for one thing okay if they're gonna like enroll 18 to 42 year olds then I want to see George Bush's daughters on the front line first of all why don't you send them over <laughs> see I mean <laughs> that's just ridiculous because you know that they're not gonna be like forced into military service and, um, yeah, so, just line up, you know, Chelsea Clinton and George Bush's daughters, and, you know, I think Al Gore has some kids who are the same age as me, and, or yeah, a little bit younger, and, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's just a bad idea, and of course, you know, who's proposing this? Some, like, you know, really old guy from, I don't know, where some Republican or, I don't know, some really old fart who, who wouldn't have to serve it himself, um, but, I don't know, maybe it'd be one thing if the war were actually legitimate, but it, you know, since it was like, since it is like totally a stupid war, <laughs> um, that we shouldn't even be over there in the first place. I don't see how they can force people to be drafted. Um, and, oh, you can get out of it by being a conscientious objector, but, um, still, I just don't believe that people should be forced into military service. I know that they do force people into military service in, like, Israel. Um, men and women have to serve, I believe, is what, from the information I have. 
men and women have to serve for a number of years. Um, but I don't really believe in that sort of thing. Because it's, you know, it's one thing if someone, like, signs up, they want to fight, they want to be a part of the military, and it's another thing altogether if you're, like, forcing someone to be a part of the military when they don't want to be. So I hope this does not really happen, and I guess we'll see what happens. I guess I'm going to try to write my Congress people and say, hey, what is going on? I hope this doesn't go through. But, you know, George has to find a way to fight his little war that he, you know, decided was all great and something that we should do. So, yeah. Why don't we put him in a nice little uniform and ship him off? That'd make me happy. Oh, actually, my idea is, um, well, you know, the, uh... I was going to make a video about this, but I'm never going to get around to it. Um, I was going to make a little animated video. Um, why don't we just, like, take everyone who voted for the war and everyone who supports the war and, well, just to everyone who, like, approved the war process and voted for the war and everything like that. We'll bring the soldiers home for a while. They need a holiday. And we'll send everyone who approved the war, we'll send them over, and for every, say, 25 people that they can name who have been killed in the war, we'll give them like a, a machine gun or something. We'll give them one weapon for every 25 names and we'll see how many weapons they can accrue that way. And if they can name 25 more, we'll give them another weapon. And then I guess we can just see how long the war would last then if all those Congress people and the President were actually the ones over there fighting the war. So, we'll see. I, we could see how great an idea they thought that was. Um, you know, continuing the war and being over there. If they were the, actually the ones fighting it. So, yeah, that's my idea. And <laughs> they can just draft themselves if they're going to pass these resolutions. Yeah, whatever. Um, so... I would never join the military. I never could because I'm too fat. They wouldn't want me. But, um, yeah, so I think, you know, if you don't want to be in the military and they pass this resolution, I think you should just, like, eat a lot and get really fat so then they wouldn't want you because I know they won't take people who are fat unless they really run out of people. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, no, we have to take the fat people now. No! Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I guess being insane and fat does have its uh, bonuses. But I'm really not for this draft. That's crazy. Okay, enough. Bye.